Today we're in Salina, Texas, and I have a true farm to market restaurant to share with you. And from what I've heard, an epic cheeseburger. And I've seen pictures, and it looks so good. Let's get after it. Welcome back to Brick Eats. I'm your host, Brian Brickman. That's right. Man, today, like I said, we're in Salina, Texas. Salina is located uh, approximately 35 or 40 miles north of Dallas. And if you want to know how to get here, if you're in Dallas, get on Preston Road and go north. That's right, 289, a.k.a. the Golden Corridor, goes all the way to Salina and even further to Gunner and all, I think it goes to Oklahoma. Ah, uh, don't quote me on that. Might actually just run into the lake. Uh, Lake Texoma. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, what do I look like? A maps go? Anyway, Salina was founded in 1879. 1879, man. And do you know how they got their name? It's named after Salina, Tennessee. That's right. You know why? Because the original postmaster was from Salina, Tennessee. It's kind of a boring story. I think they should make up a new story. Hey, we're uh, named after Salina, Tennessee because Salina, Salina Tennessee, Tennessee is awesome. awesome. I don't know. Something interesting. Now, Salina is home to the Bobcat. If you know anything about Texas high school football, uh, you have definitely heard of the Salina Bobcat. The Salina Bobcat, as a school district, have won 22 state championships. 22, man. Eight of those are in football. And they still hold the record for 68 wins in a row, 25 playoff wins in a row, and four championships in a row. How crazy is that? This is a high school football proud town, baby. Everywhere you go, you see Bobcats something hell even on the gas station it's called the bobcat store or i don't know it's just said bobcat something but the reason we're here today is to try toasted walnut table and market and it actually has a market inside i was kind of expecting it to not have a market but it actually has a market it is located right on the town square in downtown salina which by the way it's a pretty awesome town square. I mean, this is really cool. Great walking. They even got outdoor music, which is terrible for my YouTube page because of copyright restrictions, which is why I'm back in my truck. You can't hear the music in here, can you? Now, Toasted Walmart is a true farm to table, man. I am talking local grown, local raised animals, local everything. They only use free range and grass fed protein. So there you go. All local, all good for you. Eat local. We should all be eating local. Now, I was originally coming up here to get a Wagyu burger. I've heard of this place. Somebody actually suggested that I come here a while back, and I keep meaning to come up here. I just don't get up to Salina very often. Uh, they have a Wagyu burger, and I've heard it is, is tremendous. I mean, it was highly recommended. But I saw on Facebook the other day, they do their Wagyu burger with bacon, sharp cheddar, their homemade burger sauce, and a donut for a butt. That's right. A cronut, as a matter of fact. A cronut from Terry's Donut. So it's a local donut for a butt. How kick-ass is that? Now they've got a really cool little restaurant. Man, they even have little booths with curtains on it so it kind of feels private. They've got a great patio. They've got, uh, they even have a market in the front. I mean, it is a really nice place. It is well done, well decorated. You can tell when you walk in there that they care about what they're doing, for sure. And that's important. Now, without further ado, let's get to the burger. That's right. The takeout order, I like, can see it. Cronut burger. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. It's so fresh and hot. I mean, there's just, just, just heat coming out of that. Look at that donut bun. Dude, dude. Uh, oh, I'm so excited. I can't even tell you. This is going to be epic. I think so. First, the fries. Crispy, soft in the middle, mm, perfectly cooked. Thumbs up on the fries there, but why we all came. How am I gonna eat this? <sighs> the oh, it's got a frick. Oh my god, I should have got. <clears throat> I should have got ten napkins. Look at this burger. It's got a donut bun. Wagyu patty. Oh, dude, bacon, the cheese is melted everywhere. Oh my God, this is a mess. Holy cow. Mm. Oh. <laughs> mm. 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 First thing I want to say about this is, I don't know where this Terry's Donut is, 
But I'm about to get a hotel so I can go there tomorrow morning and eat a dozen of these cronut things, man. Holy sh that's good. I mean, it is, wow, that is so good. And this burger is phenomenal. Look at that. Two beef patties, or Wagyu beef patties, two of them with the cheese and that sauce. Mm. That's not just your typical boring, hey, we put some ketchup in the mayonnaise and mixed it up burger sauce it's just dude it is it is phenomenal oh wow oh my god it's a mess i'm gonna need a shower after this oh wow this is really sticky and gooey no ma'am do that oh oh my god even if you don't get the donut bun get up here man you need to drive to salina man this burger and is off the hook and my good better best scale it is a best. This is a best burger, hands down. Oh my God, this is so good. The meat is so flavorful, so well seasoned. Bacon is crisp, it's just perfectly cooked bacon. Not too crispy, but not too soft. You know what I'm talking about? Like that perfect cooked cheese, it just melts and gooey and everywhere. And oh, it's so good. And that burger sauce, I don't even know where it's at. I can't even find it. I can taste it, but I don't know where it is. I can definitely taste it. Mm. Oh, wow. Man, I am telling you, get to Salina. This is off the hook. It is worth the trip. If you live in Salina, you are lucky. If you live in Salina and you haven't eaten here, what are you doing, man? Like I said, best burger. This is awesome. I cannot wait to come back here. This is worth the trip. I'm Brian Brickman, and I approve this message. That's it for me. Hey, I appreciate you. I appreciate you joining me, and thank you for watching all the way to the end, and appreciate those likes, comments, and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. We love those subscribe. But until next time, keep eating good local food, and we'll see ya.